What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can find and work with recruiters on LinkedIn. Working with a recruiter is one of the fastest ways to land a job in tech, and LinkedIn is a fantastic platform to work with recruiters. Now on LinkedIn, there's two different ways that you can get connected with a recruiter. The first is that they reach out to you, and the second is you reach out to them. So let's jump over to my screen, and I'm gonna show you how to do both. All right, so we are looking at my actual LinkedIn page here, and I'm gonna show you the first way, which is having recruiters reach out to you. This is by far the simplest and the easiest way to work with a recruiter, where they're basically gonna reach out to us. So what we're gonna do is come right over here to open to. We're gonna click on this, and if we scroll down, we have a few different options. We have finding a job, providing services, and hiring. Now what we're gonna be doing is trying to find a job. So let's click on that. And then it's gonna ask us quite a bit of information. The first thing that you want is to add a job title. Now for us, it'd be things like data analyst, maybe a healthcare analyst, because I work in healthcare. So I'll say healthcare analyst. And then you could add others like a business analyst, marketing analyst, financial analyst, and the list goes on. After you do that, you can select what type of location you want, whether it needs to be on site, hybrid, or remote. Now, if you do select remote, you still need to put in a location. Now your location actually does matter even if you are remote. The reason being is that sometimes there are laws for the state or for the country that their company can't comply with. And so they won't be able to hire in certain areas. So they need to know where you live. Or if you're on site, like right up here, they need to know that you're actually in the location that they're hiring for. After that, we can scroll down. We're gonna put our start date, whether we can start immediately or we're just flexible and casually looking. Then we can select full-time, part-time, contract, internship, or temporary. For us, it's most likely gonna be full-time or contract. And then lastly, and this is an important one, you can decide who can see this. And so you can either show everybody, which is gonna include people who you work with, potentially your manager that you currently have, or you can just show recruiters. Now, for me, I've almost always done recruiters only so that people who I'm currently working with don't go and tell my boss or my manager that, hey, Alex is looking for another job. After that, all you're gonna do is click save, and then you'll be good to go. Now that is a fantastic step in the right direction, but you really still need to work on your profile just a little bit. The way that a recruiter is gonna find you and reach out to you is by searching specific keywords. So maybe for me, they're looking for someone who's in the Charleston area who is a data analyst and knows SQL. Now when they actually find my profile, they're gonna come and visit my profile before they actually send me a message. So there are a few things that I want you to have on here. You definitely need a profile picture. This one's very old. I definitely should update this, I just haven't. Um, but there's a few other things that you need. You definitely need to have at least a few posts in here. You don't have to be a content creator or anything like that, but just have something to fill up this area with some posts with achievements or you know something interesting. Then you should have an about section, just a little bit about who you are and what you're looking for. And then lastly, experience and education. Now, if you don't have experience, you don't need to add it, but you definitely at least need your education in there. And probably the most important part of this entire thing is your skills section. When recruiters are hitting off those keywords, a lot of times it's for skills. And so you need to come in here and add in your skills. Now I have a bunch in here and some of them are repetitive. Things like Python and Microsoft SQL Server. If I scroll down, I know for a fact I have other types of SQL in here. Here we go, like Transact SQL, PostgreSQL, MySQL. And so whichever one they're searching for, I should come up in the results. So it's just a friendly tip. You definitely wanna have your whole profile set up. My very last tip for your profile is that you can come over here to this more and you're gonna click on it and you can build a resume. Here you can actually upload your resume that recruiters can see before they actually ask you to send it to them. So like I said, it's kind of the more passive way. You're just gonna wait for recruiters to reach out to you. But if you wanna actively be applying, you wanna actively be reaching out to recruiters, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So let's go over to this job section and let's see what we can find. So let's go to data analyst and let's scroll down and see what we find. It could be any company, uh, never heard of this one, but this is a senior data analyst role at Jobot. Never heard of it, but let's go ahead and click on it. And let's say this was a job I wanted to apply for. So they have this data analyst job, I'm going to apply for it, but then I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna reach out to a recruiter who works at the company. So all we have to do to find a recruiter that works at Jobot, which maybe you've heard of it, I have not. We're gonna go over to people. And then what we can do is we can actually filter on these employees. So we can choose where they live. And let's say I wanna reach out to someone who lives in the US like me. And then I can scroll over and uh, we can choose recruiting. So we have right here. So what are they skilled at? And here we have recruiting. So I'm gonna select recruiting and you can filter by a bunch of other things. Maybe you wanna find somebody who may have gone to the same college as you and have that personal connection. 
Um, so there's a bunch of other filters that you can look at. But then we scroll down and all of these people are gonna be recruiters at this company. So what I would do if I was really serious about this position is I would reach out to two or maybe three of them and send them a message. So what we're gonna do, so we're just gonna come right over here. Here's Denise, we're gonna shoot her a message. And her message is basically gonna be, hey, I saw this position open at your company. I'm extremely interested. I love what your company does. I'd love to learn more about the position and your company. In the description, I'll put something that you can just copy and paste for these types of messages. They'll be really short and to the point as well as very polite. So we're not gonna actually message Denise, but this is exactly how you can find them. And again, you can filter this down even further. You can message a lot of recruiters or just one recruiter. Now, here's what I will say about reaching out to recruiters is that typically you're only gonna get about a 10 to 20% response rate on all of the messages that you send. This is kind of a numbers game, so it's kind of a game of persistence. This is something that I have a lot of personal experience with. I've done this for many years and it really works. But just don't expect every single recruiter that you reach out to to actually message you back. Now that's how you can work with a recruiter on LinkedIn, but I'm gonna show you just one kind of bonus tip, which is how you can find a recruiter in your area and reach out to them. So I'm gonna come up here to Google and all I'm gonna type is I'm looking for a certain area and I'm looking for technical recruiters. Now, I don't live in a huge metropolitan area anymore, but before I used to live in Dallas. I lived there for over five years, and that's where I got my first data analyst job. So I'm gonna search there for technical recruiters. I'm gonna say data analyst technical recruiters, Dallas, Texas. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna go up here to the jobs, I'm gonna go down to the businesses. And it looks like we have a few here. And I'm gonna check out this GTN technical staffing, and I'm gonna click on their website. Now, as you can see, just at a glance, these are technical recruiters, and I'm gonna go ahead and contact them. You can kind of do some more research, see what jobs they have open, but I'm just gonna send them my name, my email, my phone number, that I'm a candidate, and then my uh, resume right here so that they can then see if I'm a good fit for them. You may even go as far as reaching out to them by calling their office number and just saying, hey, my name is Alex, I'm a data analyst, I'm looking for a job, you know, here are my credentials, and then see if you can work with a recruiter at this company. This is what's called cold emailing or cold calling. This is not the most optimal way to do it, although this is an avenue that you can go down. I just found that LinkedIn works a lot better. It's a lot more streamlined process, and so that's typically what I stay with. So those are the exact steps that I take to work with recruiters on LinkedIn. I wish you the absolute best of luck in your job hunt. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video.